Well, I guess this is it for me. Just kidding, guys. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I will recover. But if you hadn't heard, Ryan Trahan, a fellow YouTuber, has created a sour candy. Now there is not only one me, but two, no, three, no, four YouTubers with sour candies, I think. Who the f*** will come next? Jesus. Bruh. Ryan Trahan's is different, though. His is awesome. His is really interesting. His video that he made launching it is basically a short film. No! Ryan, don't do it. No. Everybody calm down. No. No. It has a reasonable amount of sugar. Oh. Thank God. How are you going to tell the world? Hey guys. Yeah, so this is me launching my new candy brand, Joyride. So I go ahead, I go ahead, give up. Okay, guy? I go ahead, I give in. I done. I'm, I'm putting in the, throwing in the f***ing towel or whatever people say. I really don't know. But should I be worried though, for real? Comment down below. <laughs> I've received a lot of emails, comments, and like uh, tweets, DMs, things like that. People expressing concern for my mental well-being. They do this for a lot of things, but when Ryan Trahan dropped his sour candy, that looks very similar to my sour candy called Sour Boys that I have, that I've had for a couple of years now. About four years ago in 2019, I wanted to diversify my sources of income as any young entrepreneur, which I am not, but any young man with a with a mental illness would want to do make more money and i was like what can i do to make money on youtube that isn't just the same thing that everybody else does and i settled on uh, potentially creating a candy company because i love candy people i guess were just worried about me i'm not really sure little do they know i can take it like a man and day one i bought i love love ryan trahan i think he's a really good content creator and of course i'm going to support his his business ventures today i have a four-step plan on how to leverage these luxury cars for my own personal gain. Step one, rent luxury cars. I will lose money doing this. But should I be worried? Is it over for Oompaville? Is this the biggest L I've ever taken? Today we're gonna find out about the bat that. So this dude who is f***ing me over is in my warehouse. I've been nice to him. I've paid his wages uh, when I didn't have to. I genuinely think that competition is good. I think there's enough room for all of us. He has his own very unique audience. I'm sure we don't have much of an overlap, in all honesty. The NFL gave me the opportunity to go to the Super Bowl this year and bring a friend. So I had an idea. For context, my dad is awesome. And, by the way, I don't really think this is competition. And I don't think that's a, a, a an arrogant thing to say at all. I'm not saying that my shit's way better, even though... <laughs> It's, it, it, it's, it's, it, obviously, I'm, I'm joking, okay? I'm joking. But it's really not competition. And I'll kind of explain to you why in this video. And also give you a genuine, real review of a competitor's candy. Which, I don't know if I should do that as the CEO of a, a candy company. I'm not sure if that's bad business, but f*** it, dude. Let's try it. I know they all do this behind closed doors. They just don't have a YouTuber at the head, usually. So, hey, guys. Completely separate business models. We, Sour Boys, make licorice from scratch in a small town in Texas. It's 100% done in-house. We take raw ingredients, turn that into candy in our facility, and then we transport that to a distribution facility that we also own that's actually very close to my home. Like, I can drive there in five minutes. We package the candy, it's hand-packaged, and then we ship it out ourselves. It's hand-shipped out, obviously. That's always like that. It's from tip to taint. We do it 100%. Now, I'm no genius, but I don't think that uh, Ryan Trahan is dumb enough to have his own candy company. I know that he's co-owner, I guess, and I think he's the C CO, C Chief Creative Officer or some shit. I thought that was like a game studio thing. I'm not sure. Joyride, Ryan Trahan's new sour candy company started back in 2008. It was called Project 7, and then that evolved eventually into Joyride, which launched... I've seen it in stores before. It's at REI and, and places like that. It's better for you candy and now it doesn't appear as though they they create anything but these sour strips if you go to their website the new ryan trey hen sour strip delicious they all sold out i mean it's very interesting the the website is excellent in my opinion the marketing is impeccable influencer marketing generally is pretty fucking solid i mean it's just this is good all of this is really good i like this i really like the calling out of fake candy because that's what a, a lot of candy is it's just disgusting nonsense. A regular blue raspberry sour strip is basically built in a science lab. 
I mean, that's not really true. Realistically speaking, a confectionery lab or confectionery manufacturing facility is very much so a science lab. Equipment is available for cooking and depositing of many different products, including hard candy, lollipops, and soft confectionery. Theirs is not being made in a kitchen. It's also being made in like a, a manufacturing facility with like, you know, FDA regulations. I would hope people are wearing PPE. I would hope they're both made in a lab. One is made from shit and the other one is made from real ingredients. That's probably a better, <laughs> a better comparison. But it's interesting seeing the marketing though. I do like it. I think it's very good. And I think Ryan Trahan is a really interesting and he's a natural. He's a very, very, very good creator. I have curated a list of the top 100 scammiest ads I have been served over the past six months, and I bought them all. <laughs> but I did it to answer the age-old question. What if it's not a scam and it changes my life forever? This is what everyone says right before they get scammed. <laughs> I'm not cut out for this shit. I'm a fucking idiot weirdo, dude. We're installing a new gas range LP. We had a electric range that plugs into this four prong 220, but I bought a KitchenAid that is a 110 and you can't do that. So I have to figure out that. And I also have to install this gas line and also convert it from natural gas to liquid propane. Oh, damn. I'm like assembling guillotines outside my local government buildings 80% of the time that I'm alive and awake. We're very different. I like this though. I mean, this looks great. But once again, Joyride started well before Ryan was even born, I think. Back in 2008, they've been around. That's good. That's a really good sign. It means that they're probably making a very solid product. I'm excited to try it. I have it right here beside me. Their mission is to provide better for you, vegan, low carb, low sugar, non-GMO candy, all that good shit. And that's pretty much my mission as well, minus the, the low carb keto stuff, because I don't really care about that all that munch i just said munch fruity and slip getting hungry brother so presumably ryan hopped on board this already existing company to take the influencer uh, backed product route and it is fucking worked out so well dude so well this shit sold out immediately the response is epic i always laugh at the response whenever a creator creates a product like he absolutely helped work on this for sure like he's genuinely involved in this process i am sure he is plus the company's out of austin which i believe that's where he lives it's so funny though look are they laced dude people never leave me alone <laughs> Sour boys, it's so annoying. $25 is wild. $25 is not wild for f four bags plus shipping baked in, dude. What are you talking about? Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. I just want to make it very clear that I'm not making this video to attack someone. I'm making this video because this is something that I'm very passionate about, and this is a very rare video in which I'm putting my actual true self and effort on the internet for all of you to see. For example, I have a team of people that help me build out videos. Believe it or not, I can't make five 35 minute videos a week myself. <laughs> so I have a team. This one is all me. Except for the editing, of course. And the writing and the research and the thumbnail <laughs> and me. I'm not even me, I'm a paid actor. For real though, this is something that I wanted to do. The moment I saw that he released a product, I was like, all right, I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do this, obviously. Cause I already talked shit about Pokemane and her mina cookies. <laughs> Um. Very clearly a bit of a grab compared to this. It seems like so far. Is this a scam? No, it's I don't I don't think it's a scam. I'm not everything is a scam, unfortunately. It's fun to make videos about scams, but this one this one's legit. This is it actually a really solid it appears so a solid product. I'll try them out in a second. First, let's talk a little bit about Ryan Trahan. By that, I mean, let's glaze him a little bit. Ryan is a really good guy, okay? He is part of the grand Mr. Beastification of YouTube, sort of like Arak and those kind of guys where they do these crazy challenges and somehow do this insane shit and millions of people watch them. There's a job on this island located in the Arctic Circle that is considered by journalists to be the loneliest job on earth. Oh no, so lonely. Somebody go visit. There's a rumor that the woman who bought this island 17 years ago to maintain this lighthouse has gone mad. So the question is, did the keeper of the world's loneliest job actually go insane? Or better yet, will I? There's only one way to find out. I made it to Norway. There's a lot of people like this. Ryan Trahan sits upon the top of the, the shitty heap. It's a pretty shitty heap, most of them. This dude makes solid ass content though, genuinely. His penny challenges are legendary this is a penny that 
is the Eiffel Tower, and I have seven days to use this penny to get from Europe all the way back home to America. Here are the rules. Rule number one, all profit must be earned starting from one penny. Hey, do you guys have a pen by chance? This could be the start of something amazing. Thank you. Rule number two, all food, drink, transportation, and boarding must come from the penny. I'm selling a pen for one euro. Is that a euro? Oh, dude. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to America. And rule number three, I only have seven days to use this penny to do whatever I can to get back home to America. He set out at one point to raise $100,000, but instead went ahead and raised a cool 1.3 million. Huh? How about you try raising some... Just kidding, he's been happily married since 2020. If you're new to the channel or if you don't know, I am madly in love with a girl named Haley Pham. We've been dating for a year and eight months. We have a house together. We have a beautiful dog. This girl makes me better. She she makes me laugh and smile. And I feel like with her, I just squeeze every ounce of joy out of life. About to tear up right there. Jeez Louise, come on. Come on. Dude's a fucking model citizen. Well, who the fuck is this guy? Also, I need to make it very clear. I've been watching his videos for a long time. He's awesome, and he's really creative, and he's funny, and he's just chill as f I'm dressed as Lord Farquaad, and today's gonna be the craziest day of my life. But first, let's get through airport security. And yeah, the penny challenges and just being a, a stand-up citizen, they're not the only awesome things he's done. He just loves raising money and being a good dude. <laughs> It's crazy. This is a penny. And 30 days ago, I was standing on the beaches of Los Angeles with nothing but one cent and a dream. I dreamed across America in 30 days to deliver Mr. Beast a penny following these three rules. So why do I hate him? And why am I making a shitty, a shit, uh, exposed video on him? I'm not actually. I, 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 uh, cause he made sour candy. That's why I hate him. Of course. Our sour strips have 80% less sugar. And I think they taste even better. If you don't believe me, you gotta try these for yourself. I'm just kidding. The only thing that I'm upset with in regard to this is that he didn't get f***ing scammed. <laughs> So someone who worked for me in that business, who no longer works with me now, I found out stole an insane amount of money, like so much that this whole thing might just go under. Like I've had to max out all my credit cards bad. How, how much money are we talking? It's embarrassing to say because it seems stupid, but over three quarters of a million dollars. Over. Oh my God. I am quite literally devoid of of innocence. My life will never be the same and I can never get back what I truly lost to get to this point. Just so you guys are aware. He has that over me, to be honest. How's Jake doing? Um, I think he is a whole. I think he's a, a ceaseless, unending abyss at this point in his life. It's, uh, we haven't really unleashed hell in terms of like what can be done. In fact, almost nothing has been done. It's because there's not really, there's a very great, a great limitation in options. He doesn't have any money. He's, he's, tried to file for bankruptcy multiple times. And then just, you know, these videos are going to kind of, when you look up him, that's what happens, that's what shows up is these videos. This is his Indeed profile. It's a public service announcement. Now on to the candy. I've got my dogs in a bed so I can scream at them whenever I get really excited. Candy! Candy! I'm sorry. I love you both so much. As far as I can surmise, the main idea behind the Joyride candy is for it to be better for you but still taste good. Y'all know I love candy, but all of the top brands are packed with horrible ingredients. They taste good, but a regular blue sour strip is basically built in a science lab. Our candy can't even look like theirs because we don't use fake anything. Because most of the candy that's better for you, it has low sugar and, and it has sucralose and and all these shits and gigs in it. And I don't like it and it's disgusting. And that is the literal actual reason that I started Sour Boys is because I wanted to actually make candy, like legitimate old style 1800s type candy shit, like fucking cocaine in it, all right, dude? Just kidding, but, but opiates for sure. Also just kidding. Yeah, I hate the healthy candy. I hate that, I hate that. I really, it really drives me wild and I don't know why. And the healthy sodas and stuff, dude, none of them are good. They all can suck. Olipop is good like once a year. Okay, Zevia can sucks. They all can suck. There is like a peach ring brand though that I tried recently that I did like and they used allulose, which is the same ingredient that Joy Ride uses. So I'm excited for this. This type of claim, the whole better for you thing is the reason that I wanted to do Sour Boys. I wanted to have a candy brand because I love candy. By the way, I eat it in moderation. As you can tell, I'm not an unhealthy guy. I have excellent blood sugar levels. I'm very healthy mentally. I'm deranged, but physically I've always been a fit specimen and I eat a good amount of candy, real actual candy. Try not to eat too many things with red dye 
you know, alas, I may get that stare that those people have about them in Kentucky, it seems like. That's the Red 40 stare. I'm on board, man. It's not that complicated to make shit that's better for you. I'm on board. Anything can be part of a healthy lifestyle in moderation. And, you know, even sugar-free stuff isn't magically just healthy because it doesn't have sugar in it. But we'll get into it, though. I think that a lot of people would probably agree with me that better-for-you candies generally suck ass. And I'm not even trying to be mean by saying that, but they just, they just do. They just do. And they also make me very sick. I don't know if you guys have ever eaten uh, sugar-free gummy bears. When I first started getting into fitness, I bought sugar-free gummy bears off Amazon and they gave me blowout diarrhea. <laughs> like, shit was funny. As f and then I was like, oh, wait, you can't just, you know, you eventually, you have to pay the toll. You have to pay the troll as toll, no matter what. What is your name? It is Arthur, King of the Britons. What? You're eating candy and it's bright and it's fun. You gotta pay that toll, whether it's high blood sugar or can blow out of your asshole. You reap what you sell, eventually. However, I must say that Joyride stays away from IMO, malatol, sugar alcohols, and other weird artificial shit, which is good because the sugar alcohols are the ones that make me blow up and also kill animals, by the way. Anything that kills animals <laughs> probably shouldn't be eaten. And IMO, by the way, really bad for you. Isomaltulegosaccharide. I don't remember what it's called. Isomaltulego... It's some shit. I don't know. IMO. People call it IMO because it's long and it's hard to say. That's like the classic protein bar sugar taste. Carbohydrate thing. Low cal... It's so nasty and it has a lot of terrible health effects. Same with all this other nonsense. So it's, it's great. This is badass that they do not have these ingredients. They're not f stooping to that fucking level. Because all these things, dude, they hurt my guts. Even sucralose with me it, it it causes an instant migraine and f with my rotten little belly so mega big chungus points for joyride there i'm i'm glad to see that honestly if they would have had sucralose genuinely if there was sucralo sucralose in this product i would have not eaten it because it would make me feel sick the chemical nature behind all of it is it, it makes me a little bit it gets me hard a little bit i'm gonna be honest with you guys it gets me a little hard joyride uses a rare sugar called allulose that is in figs and i believe some other little tiny gross fruits that are found in california commonly but it's it's a rare sugar so it's found in very limited amounts in nature it still tastes very sweet but it has no effect on your blood glucose levels and it doesn't incite any sort of insulin response and your your body you still absorb it in your lower intestine but you piss it all out you excrete it your body doesn't produce the enzymes that are required to break down allulose so it's just a complete and total sweet sugar that you cannot metabolize in any way so it doesn't become a part of your part of your system it just goes into your 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 renal system and you piss it out which is cool man you excrete it through your willy that's fun i love excreting through my willy no idea why or if this is something you might need to know but allulose is a monosaccharide that means it is a, a sugar with one single sugar molecule glucose fructose and galactose are monosaccharides meaning that they are made up of a single unit or molecule of sugar. Sucrose, commonly known as table sugar or cane sugar or just normal sugar for people who eat normal sugar, is a disaccharide, which means it has two sugar molecules. You've probably heard of them, glucose and fructose. Sucrose, lactose and maltose are disaccharides, meaning that they are made up of two units or molecules of sugar. Sucrose is made up of one molecule of glucose linked to a molecule of fructose. Do you know what glucose is? It is the fuel source for the human body, okay? The liver produces it. It's beautiful. It's delicious. It's awesome. Glucose is a monosaccharide, a simple sugar. It is a major energy source for our body. It is naturally found in fruits, vegetables, and nectar of plants. We also get glucose from other carbohydrates containing foods when we eat, and digest starchy foods. Fructose is really interesting to me because maybe I'm just an idiot, all right? Maybe I'm just an idiot, but I don't know why fructose is that bad for you because sucrose is not just magically bad like high fructose corn syrup, HCFS. You've probably heard of that before. Fructose is also a monosaccharide, also known as fruit sugar, and is the main sugar found in fruits, honey, and some vegetables. Sucrose is a 50-50 split of glucose and fructose. Sucrose is a disaccharide. It is made up of one molecule of glucose linked to one molecule of fructose. Sucrose is one of the most common forms of sugar in our diets. It is found in some fruits and vegetables. Table sugar, the sugar that we add to our foods, is actually sucrose. And high fructose corn syrup is like 45% 
glucose and 55% fructose. So it's it's the, the ratio isn't even that much different. It's just corn syrup that's been treated with an enzyme to convert some of the, the glucose into fructose. The, the, everyone's afraid of high fructose corn syrup and the research is there showing that it is bad, but I can't really find, and I haven't been able to find the reason why high fructose corn, corn syrup is just magically bad for you, but sucrose in moderation isn't necessarily bad because fructose is the sugar that's in fruit or you know at least a, a part of the sugar that's in fruit it is commonly found in fruit and honey and, and stuff like that stuff with actual genuine health benefits maybe it's because when you consume energy without micronutrients it's bad for you or when you over consume something it's bad for you or when you consume something that is in, is intended to be consumed with fiber, like sugar. In nature, sugar pretty much always occurs with fiber. And in my ass as well. I really don't know if there's anyone in, in chemistry. I, I did some basic research on this a while back when, when formulating Sour Boys. And it just sort of confused me. I know sugar's bad, whatever. But it's also like pure energy. I just don't know why high fructose corn syrup is just magically like the enemy. Anyways, back to allulose, a monosaccharide commonly found in fig. Mm, I don't like figs very much. Allulose, it seems fine. I, it hurts my belly a little bit if I eat too much of it, but I don't eat too much of any sort of sugar-containing substance, allulose or not. It's fine, right? Is it better for you? Probably for most people, because most people overconsume the things that are inherently bad for them, because that's like the whole thing that humans do. One thing I should note, erm, um, is that allulose is banned in canada and europe all right it's not banned but it is yet to be approved for use in canada and europe i believe it's on the way and this is just because it has limited research on its long-term effects to humans america is just like yeah money <laughs> let's throw it in there this isn't to say that it's bad for you it is found in nature so it's like i don't know it, people say that it's banned it's like a clickbait headline nonsense i don't think so i think it's probably going to be just the same as all the other ones, to be honest. If we go to Joyride's ingredients, there is also soluble corn fiber, which is my favorite type of corn fiber, the soluble type. I can't really imagine that it's bad for you. It's just fiber from corn. Dude, I don't know. It's hard to get non-GMO corn, so it's pretty impressive that they did that. It's also a classic keto snack food ingredient. All those nasty ass low carb keto snacks have soluble corn fiber in them for some reason. <laughs> I can't imagine that it's horrible for you in, mo in moderation. The Journal of Insulin Resistance published a paper as relatively small, but took a look at nine individuals that consumed 25 grams of soluble corn fiber per day. Okay, so when they consumed this, they measured their insulin, their glucose, and their breath hydrogen at 30 minutes, 60, 90, 120, 150, and 180 minutes. Okay, well, what was interesting is they did find after about two and a half hours, there was a 3x increase in their breath hydrogen. Okay, as well as no significant change in their insulin and no significant change in their glucose. Wheat flour, cool. Love wheat flour. Wheat's good. It's got gluten in it. Some people are allergic to gluten. That's bad for some people, but overall, it's not really that bad. What type of wheat flour, though? Not all wheat flour is made equal. There's pastry flour. There's bread flour. There's all-purpose flour. There's unbleached. There's bleached. There's whole wheat. There's a lot of, it's not all made equal. I assume this is just some kind of all-purpose, maybe pastry flour or something along those lines. They do have actual sugar in the product as well. I would like to know what type of sugar that is. Maybe it's sucrose. It is sucrose, actually. That is what it is. This product also has glycerin in it, which surprised me to see, but it makes sense because this is not a licorice. This is a, something that's really important to note here. This is a sour strip that is a jelly candy. It's like a gummy type candy. My candy that I make is a licorice. It's quite literally old style licorice, like a Twizzler, but it just has a different consistency and moisture content to feel more like a gummy. Most sour strips that you eat are technically licorice. That is just a, a combination of starch and sugar creates licorice. You have these uh, gelatinization matrices. It's very, very cool the way that licorice is made. It's scientific and once again, gets me hard. I assume not being a science guy that glycerin is really important for this product because it doesn't have the innate hardiness of the sucralose amylose gelatinization matrices. So water activity for something like this that isn't a licorice could have massive shelf life issues. Water will just seep out of it. Have you guys ever gotten candy where it's like kind of wet on the outside? That sort of happens with licorice as well in a lot of different types of candy. But with natural candies, it tends to happen a lot more. 
because it's difficult to keep the water inside. So something like glycerin, vegetable glycerin, is hygroscopic, which means it absorbs and holds onto water the same way that the gelatinized little, literal gel, little gels, molecular gels, they hold onto water. Water, starch, sugar, boom. Gelatinization. It's beautiful. So that's why glycerin's in there. It ain't that shit that blows up or whatever. Maybe it is though. I don't fucking know. Are you still watching? Is there anyone still watching this? I'm having a good time. I wish I could do this every day. Just talk shit about candy, dude. I love what I do. Hygroscopicity, my favorite word. It is key here, I'm assuming, in regard to the glycerin containment in this product. Sodium citrate in the candy, that is an emulsifier that allows oil to emulsify with its poly and non-poly emulsifier gets them to bind together and not separate. An emulsion is a mixture of two or more immiscible liquids, one being oil-based and the other water-based or aqueous. They are described as immiscible liquids because they cannot easily be mixed together without separating. We can explain how to make an emulsion with a common example most people will be familiar with. Salad dressing. We've all seen bottles like this, with the oil and water separated into two distinct parts or phase. All that energy you put into the liquids by shaking the bottle reduces the phases into smaller and smaller globules until they are completely dispersed into one another. You now have an emulsion. It's nominal. I'm sure there's hardly any in this product. It also helps with shelf life. It just kind of changes the, the, the makeup of, of sugar molecules and starch molecules. It's pretty cool. Pretty chill. Citric acid is an ingredient that's in this that I'm kind of honestly surprised to see. Then you got some flavors, natural flavors, I assume. Pretty cool. I always love natural flavors being used in products. Then we got some lactic acid and some fumaric acid. I'm assuming it's encapsulated to prevent unnecessary water activity. Guys, I'm a genius. Have I ever told you this? Encapsulated, it's like a little lipid encapsulation around the acid because acids and any any small molecules that are on the exterior of something that contains water, there's high, there's always water activity no matter what. It's the way the atmosphere works. And little small molecules bring in little smaller molecules, little water molecules, hygroscopicity, and acids and sugars are, they absorb water. And just small molecules absorb water. It's really weird. It gets me hard though. Once again, I assume they use encapsulated. I don't really know. I don't know where the f to get encapsulated malic acid or any kind of acid. I don't, we don't use it. We do the old fashioned way. Product also has sunflower lecithin in it, which is a massive win and makes your loads huge. And that's awesome. I'm all for that. Sea salt, win, and juices. Various juices to induce various colors, I assume. We also use juices, so. Good call on the juices, bro. One thing I think is interesting is this image we showed earlier of them comparing the, or Ryan comparing the lab-grown candy with their candy and how it's purple. Oh, it's, it's, it's purple. This is why it looks, it's not blue. It's blue raspberry, but it doesn't look blue. You can still make blue stuff with natural ingredients. It is more difficult, but there, yeah, there's quite a few ways to get blue that are completely natural. Fruit juice, extremely concentrated blueberries, for example. It's more expensive. Maybe that's why they opted with just the purple. It is possible to make it blue. It's not possible to make it look like that shit, that fucking lab grown shit. You need titanium oxide, which is now banned in California to do that. And finally, we have steviol glycosides. Ugh, no. Oh God. I hate stevia and not because it's like, it, people say it causes cancer or whatever because that shit's been debunked or at least the most recent studies show that stevia does not cause cancer. I think that's the general consensus now amongst smart people. But dude, I just hate the way it tastes. I think it's disgusting and I hate it. I would rather eat sugar, man. I'm gonna be honest. I'd rather live lo less long and just eat sugar. We've had, Sugar's been around for a while, okay? And so is stevia. Stevia is natural as well, kind of. It tastes like Shit. So those are the ingredients and what makes up the average Joyride candy. Just for comparison, for slight, this is not a, I'm not going to be tasting Sour Boys in here, but this is what we use in our Sour Strip licorice. We use glucose syrup, GMO-free, confectioner's glucose, 42 DE. It's literally just sugar and water. We use low-gluten pastry wheat flour that is milled in the great state of Texas. We use cane sugar that I, something, it comes from Texas. I don't know what, how you make sugar, but it comes from Texas. We use legit delicious cane sugar. It's so f***ing good. We use RSPO palm oil which isn't the most healthy of all the oils, but it does have some anti-inflammatory benefits and it's a, a relatively solid lipid profile overall. And it's RSPO, so it's not annihilating the environment. We use reverse osmosis water in our product that we filter ourselves. We also use sodium citrate, just like Joyride. It is an alkalinizing agent and also an emulsifier to bring together the palm oil with the rest of the product. And we use malic acid, which is just apple, 
crystals basically natural flavoring and natural dyes or dyes from natural sources rather our common dyes for like yellow would be turmeric green would be spirulina and for blues and reds would be a mix of vegetable and fruit juices sour boys also has no artificial flavors dyes sweeteners preservatives animal products including gelatin or rare sugars sugar alcohols maltol imo nothing no nothing no no it's just sugar bro it's just sugar. Once again, not that it is a comparison truly because it is not, but at the same time, they're both candies, so they're kind of like a comparison. Now we try the candy. It's been a long time, but I really want to uh, make this a, a quality video. I already opened all these packages to smell them because I was really excited when they showed up. Cool. I love the packaging. The packaging is solid. These little, these little bags, they're nice. They're resealable. That's pretty chill. I got strawberry, blue raspberry, pink lemonade, and green apple. Very cool. I love the packaging so much for real. It's great. Packaging is so good. Damn, it makes me jealous. Like, honestly, that's cool. You also get stickers, which is pretty, pretty cool. I almost said chill for like the 15th time. They look nice. They look like, like kindergarten stickers or something. And you get a little uh, car smeller or whatever. I don't know. I don't want no damn fragrance allergens in my house. What are you trying to do? Fucking... Oh, that smells great. Holy shit. Wow. That smells really good. What are you trying to do, Ryan Trahan? Trying to disrupt my endocrine system? The f <laughs> Just kidding. So now let's taste it. Let's try strawberry first. By the way, I'm going to be as transparent and honest as I possibly can here because I feel as though this is important for me to do stuff like this and be as honest and transparent and open and talk about things that I actually enjoy sometimes instead of just the shit that goes on in the world. So... Here we go. I'm, my mouth is watering. This looks really good. Also, what's wild is the 24 carbs. I think that's crazy. 24 grams of carbohydrates and one gram of, of uh, or sorry, four grams of sugar, eight grams of fiber. That's that weird allulose because you just eat it and you just, it just creeps out of your willy. That's so weird. How do they do that? <laughs> Ooh, smells good. Okay, looks good. All right. It's got like a skin colored kind of, kind of, um, color skin color color and it does look like they use, they do absolutely use encapsulated acids which makes sense you can see it on the on the exterior the little like white encapsulation around the the acid the acid granule okay mm. it's very sour it's good that is good that is very good it definitely tastes like it has 80% less sugar. That one's solid. That's not bad. It does have a, like a slight aftertaste. <laughs> I'm like that fucking guy. I'm not even I'm not even trying to be funny or ironic. I'm actually trying to taste everything. Yeah, it's got that like kind of mute diet flavor. It's st it still has that a little bit. It's not very strong. It's like 10%. Normally with 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 these types of low sugar candies, it's like 90% and it's disgusting. This is not overwhelming by any means. But this you can tell. This is candy. It's sour. It gives you that sour slap and it still has a little bit. Of, I mean, I mean it, it does have a little bit of that diet that like the diet flavor, but overall it's good. All right, I'm going to try another one. That one's good. Strawberry is pretty solid. So that was strawberry thwips. Let's try blue raspberry. Ooh, this one smells weird. The actual strips smell different than the, um, smells vinegary a little bit. That can happen with, um, some natural flavorings. They have like kind of a vinegary type of vibe to them. We got the purple blue raspberry strip. It's got a good pull. I do love the way these the, the way these look too, by the way. That is so nice. That is very nice. I really like the way these look. Sour. Same sourness as the strawberry. Maybe a little bit less sour. There isn't as much um of the sour coating on the on these. That one does it's like it, it has like a muted flavor on the blue raspberry. The strawberry is sub substantially better. This is not bad though. Definitely not bad, but the, the strawberry is substantially better. This one I would say is like pretty standard sugar-free candy flavor. I'm not a huge fan of that one. Let's see. Usually I love blue raspberry. Usually blue raspberry is my fucking go-to. Interesting. This is the same kind of like vinegary smell. Hmm. Weird. That doesn't affect the flavor. Much better than the blue raspberry. The mouth feels good too. It's definitely different. It's it's more like a gummy, like a true gummy deposited pectin gummy than it is like a um a piece of licorice or a normal sour strip. It gets stuck on your teeth a lot more. That one's pretty good. The green apple is pretty good, but still it has like a muted flavor compared to the strawberry. Maybe I was just really excited with the strawberry. Here we got pink lemonade. Show the packaging. Looks pretty solid. It looks like I'm eating skin, dude. They use so little dye. That's crazy. 
It's like clear, basically. It's translucent. It's translucent. They do rip so good though, damn. I would say this one and this one are the best. And I believe it's because both of these have the most actual sugar on the exterior. I think that's just what, what the main difference is that I'm tasting here. And the ones that are more muted are just they're just the strips and the the exterior coating there isn't as much of it on there and they kind of smell vinegary which is weird but that does happen with uh natural flavors so i don't know i want to try one of these again and i'm gonna try this one again the store straw by one <clears throat> this one's covered in uh the exterior powder my favorite out of all of those is the strawberry my least favorite is the blue raspberry and that's crazy because i love blue raspberry but overall those are good man those definitely taste like healthier candy alternatives that wouldn't hit my 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 g spot my c spot my candy spot right it absolutely 100 percent has a unless i'm just fucking crazy but i absolutely taste a sort of diet flavor like uh just a tiny muted like 10 percent 12 percent 14 percent maybe it's almost like the stevia shit it, it tastes like that weird kind of long drawn out waiting for something to happen it just coats your entire mouth i don't know maybe it's corn fiber <laughs> i really don't know what it is but it's definitely not bad i would say the strawberry is on a regular candy scale five out of ten and then they just go down one point for each one to where the blue raspberry is like a one out of ten maybe on the regular candy scale on the healthy candy scale these bitches are a solid nine and a half okay like that that's the that's the world we're working in there these are very good the strawberry at least the others are like seven and a half eight maybe i'm not exactly sure i know they have a little bit of a what you will never find in a candy thing on their website it says gelatin or other animal products that's awesome that's good a lot of candy doesn't have gelatin or animal products no imo malitol sure sugar alcohols that's awesome i can tell i don't feel sick already so that's solid <laughs> no artificial flavors or colors good i don't want brain rot i've already got enough of that no artificial sweeteners or preservatives that's pretty awesome i don't really know what an artificial preservative would be maybe tbhq or tb what is that shit called tbhq is that the shit that's in fucking oreos that you buy at a convenience store it also says that it doesn't have a bland diet candy flavor I'm not 100% sure about that. I would like to see what other people think and see their reviews because to me, it definitely tastes like it has 80% less sugar for sure. And that's just like the, that's just kind of the nature of it. There's no getting around. It's not made of just sugar. Like sugar is literally God's gift to humans. <laughs> and we squander that shit by eating way too much of it and putting it on everything and, and can rotten our teeth out and shit. So th this is absolutely a really solid product in my opinion. Maybe I'm just crazy but i feel like it does have a pretty like it has a diet candy flavor for sure this is not like a magic thing that they've just discovered that is just as good as cane sugar and it's just as good as like it's a, a, a milkshake like halo top versus and uh, a blue bell you know like there's one will do but the other one is always going to be there just ready to take the dub at any any given any given chance maybe i feel i feel like an asshole though now a kind of a little bit i feel like a bit of a dickweed because that's but that's an honest review though so I, I don't really know I, I it's good i mean it's still really good i will absolutely buy more especially when they make more flavors but i will buy as much as i normally buy of of uh of better for you low sugar alternatives it still has that that aftertaste for sure go buy it i mean realistically speaking it's solid it's a solid product it's good it came really quickly it looks good it's cheap relatively speaking. Anyways, I wish the absolute best for Ryan and Joyride. Thank you guys for watching this long, drawn out ass and weird video, probably that I don't even cannot imagine anyone ever watching this. Dude, Ryan, if you ever want to do Joyride as well, Tyler Merrick, I think you guys are awesome. I think this product, this idea is really solid. And this is by far the best creator, healthy candy snack thing that I've seen. Absolutely. Like this, there's no comparison. There's another guy out there who makes, who makes gummies they're not that good <laughs> they're they're pretty fucking bad from repurposed and fruit or something i don't know dude i don't know bro they're better than minus snacks as well but yeah man i'm always open to do any sort of flavor collabs with anyone with sour boys we do three flavors a month new flavors our new cadence is about to drop we just did a drop on friday we're doing another drop this friday every friday from now on we plan on doing a new sour boys drop there will be at least three new flavors a month shit is crazy we got big things cooking <gasps> join the email list if you want if not i don't really care this is not intended to be an ad i'm just really excited about my product oh dude also this this competition is closed now by the way but sour boys we did a golden ticket competition and the best ideas for flavors and bags 
get to choose a custom Sour Boys bag for like May or June. You guys get to work together with me and my beautiful girlfriend, Christina, and we will create a flavor combination and bag design. And you guys will be, three people will be forever immortalized on the bag and we'll make like 20,000 of them or something. It'll be really limited. It's gonna be, it's so sick, dude. It's so sick. That's what I'm saying. It's not really competition, right? Like this, we, everyone has their own epic strengths. If you, if you want to be as healthy as possible and you just want to enjoy something and, and eat something, a lot of it, go buy Joyride. If you want genuine candy, that is bad for you. If you eat a lot of it and if you, you know, you're better off not eating any of it, but if you do like candy like me, then there's that as well. At the end of the day, this is all just candy. It's not that fucking special. We do our best. I know Ryan absolutely does his best. <laughs> Some of our best just isn't enough. I'm always excited to see creators walking down this path. And uh, yeah, I wish Ryan the absolute best.